I want to make another video while I was on the route, man. I was thinking about something, man. Real quick. While I'm on a route right now, delivering food and shit. Hey, man, I ain't got nothing to hide, dog. I tell you guys what I do for a living. I'm not faking the funk. I'm poor. I'm black and I'm poor. And I'm changing all this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? But speaking of, uh, you know, changing the shit, when you change, you become black and famous, man. You won't, you won't have to deal with, like, discrimination as much also. And you'll have a lot of freedom. See, the thing is, you got to know what you're fighting for. And you're fighting for freedom when you're going out to success. You know what I'm saying? You fighting for the the right to choose the women who you, choose the women you deal with. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather be a famous and rich and famous black person than be an unknown poor black person. Cause people tend to like treat you with disrespect when you're poor and black. You know what I'm saying? Versus when you're successful and black, you get more respect. You still a, a, a Negro, but you get more respect. You know what I'm saying? And you can choose who you want around you as a, a successful black person. You know, as a poor black person, you can't choose who who's around you. You got to work with certain people at work. You know, uh, you don't have any freedom. You're limited. You know what I'm saying? Uh, your, your, your dating options are limited. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to live like that forever. You want to you want to eventually break those ball and chains, man. You know what I mean? You want to eventually come up out of that fucking bullshit. You don't want to live like that your whole entire life. See, that's what I'm saying. You guys got to start changing the way you do things. You can't keep doing the same thing and expect a, a different result. You know what I mean? See, a lot of us, man, we deal with this discrimination on a regular basis being black in America, man. We deal with it. We deal with it on a regular basis. And you mean to tell me that becoming successful is not worth, you know, getting that freedom and not dealing with discrimination as much? You know what I'm saying? When we go inside the store as a famous black person, nobody's going to follow you around and think that you're going to steal something. They only do that to poor black people, especially black women. You know what I'm saying? So my thing is, man, become successful and black. Become famous and black. Your life would be a lot easier. See, the thing is, famous black people, their lives are a lot easier. Even though they still deal with discrimination if the, the clerk of the store doesn't know them. Like, one time, uh, Oprah Winfrey went to fucking buy a purse at this high-end uh, boutique store or whatever. She, was one, she wanted to buy a purse. The person that was uh, behind the door... I mean, behind the counter, must have been living up up under a rock or something, because she didn't know who she was talking to when she denied her the purse that she asked for. You know, the purse was behind the counter, and she, uh, Oprah Winfrey, wanted to see the purse. She wanted to hold it, and the lady said, "No, no, um, that one's called that one cost uh." So and so, so and so, you know, and and Oprah Winfrey was like, "Well, can I see the purse?" And she denied her the purse, so they left. They said, "Fuck it," you know. They took their pride, whoever she was with, you know. They they left. That's what she's supposed to have done. But later later on, the girl, the girl, the clerk, she found out that she was uh, turning down the most rich and successful. Uh, powerful Oprah because she got a lot of influence. I say powerful because she has a lot of influence over females' brains and shit. That's power. So she didn't know that she was, she didn't know who she was talking to, you know? So she got fired from her job, but, you know, 
but you you only gonna deal with that probably in different countries because uh Oprah Winfrey was in a different country at the time so you know I don't know where she was but I'm just saying overall you won't have to deal with the discrimination as much maybe like 10 percent of the time when like I said when they don't know you but I suggest everybody listen to listening to this video become rich successful black person and our, your life will be a lot easier I'm telling you you know don't give up on your dreams no matter what they say you know a lot of naysayers don't come out of nowhere talking about you can't do that you're too old or you can't do this you can't do that and then if you look at their lives you know what I'm saying they, 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 they ain't shit you know what I'm saying so I, I, I take things from motherfuckers who ain't did shit, who ain't did shit with their lives. I take what they say with a fucking grain of salt, okay? I take it with a grain of salt. As long as you change, that's what's more important, man. As long as you change and you don't do the same thing that keep you poor. See, what keeps us poor is our spending habits. I need to go out and be social with people. Spending a uh, hundred bucks at a bar, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, uh, going out on dates and trying to impress these bitches up out here, you know what I'm saying? When you should be working on your craft or being behind closed doors. It's best to be anti-social and stacking your bread than being social and, and spending your goddamn money and throwing your dreams down the fucking drain. You know what I'm saying? So it's better to be in monk mode, man. You gotta be do do monk mode. I'm doing monk mode now, man. I just ain't said nothing about it. I've been I, I'm behind closed doors, just stacking my bread and working, not going out to bars, not going out nowhere. Yeah, I still talk to women. I interact with women and shit, man. And I get the pussy when I can. But I'm not going out to bars or or, or, or clubs or restaurants and shit like that. I might stop and get something to eat, though, while I'm on my break. You know what I'm saying? I might get something, you know, from a, sh a sandwich shop or something like that. You know what I'm saying? But I cut out all the fucking drinking. I don't drink anymore. My last drink was, uh, was September 30th. I went back and looked on my Facebook, you know what I mean, to see when the last time I drank because I can't remember. It's been a while, you know. But my thing is I'm sacrificing for my my unborn child. And I think about my unborn child every single day because Tupac had a song called My Unborn Child, you know. So my unborn, and I'm preparing so he can have a better life than I did or she or she could have because I'm not bringing no no kid into the world you know at a disadvantage like my father did you know the motherfucker didn't think about you know what type of world he was bringing his kid into then he left us here he abandoned us so you know and, and be, he became a bum you know so then he, he don't own up to that shit either, you know? Not a birthday card, not a Christmas card. This motherfucker didn't celebrate Christmas, but he could have gave us a birthday card. You know what I mean? Or something, something, a card or something. You know, and it, you know if he didn't have any money, he could have reached in his pocket, spent five bucks on a card and sent, the, sent it to us. But no, nah, this motherfucker left. He followed his dick. Well, a lot of black males, what we go wrong, man, is following that dick. And that leads you to being very unhappy. That dick has a mind of his own. You can't let that happen. You got to control that dick. You know, this one bra, she going to call me later on. And I'm going to ignore her fucking phone calls. Because this bra is dangerous. She want to have a baby and shit. And I'm like, no, you're dangerous. I need to get away from her. I need to be by myself. I need to keep my dick to myself right now. That's what I'm on right now. Keep my dick to myself. And I don't care if I get more pussy on the way. Fuck it. On the way there, then that's cool. you know. But I'm getting pussy 
you know, I ain't spending no money while I'm getting it though. I ain't spending no fucking resources. No, I'm not taking you out to dinner. We're going straight to your bedroom, you know? Or we might go to like a coffee shop and spend a dollar or something on some coffee. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not taking you to no restaurant. You know? That's how I'm handling females right now. That's how I'm dealing with them. And right now, my mind is staying focused on big things. Big things. I'm dreaming big, man. I'm dreaming big. And I won't let go of my dreams. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to fail. You know? And I'm going to keep on failing until I get it right. You know what I'm saying? I'm prepared to fail, man. When I get out there, you know, doing the Hollywood thing. And I'm going to fucking um, end this channel by the end of the year. You know, because I can't keep it going on. You know what I'm saying? I can't keep it going on while I'm going on auditions and stuff. You know, I hate to end it because I, I see I'm getting more subscribers and my views are going up. But this is not going to bring a whole lot of money for me, man. This is something that I'm venting. And this, this is my thoughts that I'm sharing with you guys. This is something that I vent with. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm not doing this for no money. Even though it'd be cool to get a donation every now and then. You guys got to donate to the damn channel or something, man. Because I haven't got no donations. You know, I forgot about that part. Because I'm so busy doing this channel. And I don't care about really care about money. But it'd be cool to get some donations, man. Shit, dude. A motherfucker need a little, a little something, man. You know, I don't care if it's two dollars, man. Donate. Everybody else get donations. How come I can't get no donut? No, I mean, I can't. How come I can't get no donations? Why? Am I different from everybody? You know what I'm saying? So you gotta think about your unborn child. Think about your actions. Every action that you do, it affects your unborn child. I'm talking to your incel guys about this. And the guys who are not incel. Guys who don't have kids, who want kids in the future. You have to prepare yourself. Sacrifice for your child's sake. Your unborn child's sake. you find yourself getting distracted no nah, no nah, be like nope nope don't fuck up your, your child's shit you know what I'm saying because I know a lot of you motherfuckers don't give a fuck about your unborn child you don't care I'm not saying all of you don't but a lot of you trolls and shit that be coming around to my channel talking that shit you don't care about your your, your seed you know and your, your seed is gonna suffer just like you did you passing the curse to your own unborn child, being dirt poor and black. You know what I'm saying? At the same time, have your kid be born in this world black and rich, not dirt poor and black. That's the worst. I'm out. You guys have a good night. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like and comment. Hit the notification bell button so you'll never ever miss another video from me. And I'm out.